Miranda Devine, is a Sydney journalist in the Daily Telegraph, which focuses heavily on the jihadi problem, where young rebellious teenagers are radicalized either by mosque preachers in public or ISL recruiters working secretly over the net. Journalist Miranda Devine published an article, from her personal Catholic viewpoint, that in Paris, 160 families, interviewed, that had produced, runaway to war zone jihadis, were a surprising, 80% atheist, for her 1.2 million readers she then somewhat naively, and wrongly concluded, these angry young people became suicidal religious fanatics, because of their barren religion-free atheist family upbringings, and she did complain greatly, and justifiably, that militant atheists online are verbally violent, hate-filled people, that bombard her with cruelties. On Twitter and Facebook, she supplies examples of their hate speech. Her Telegraph article is linked below this video. I have written an emailed letter to her explained that it's not quite that simple, and that her readership would be better served if she had deeper understanding via some advice from pseudo-skeptic slash militant atheist watchers on the net. Here is the letter to Miranda, hoping to upgrade her grasp on this issue. For Miranda Divine Daily Telegraph, Miranda, I have read your article. Titled Jihadis Fill Atheist Void Miranda, I have studied militant atheist social misbehavior for some seven years, and made hundreds of videos about them, all pre-titled pseudo-skeptics. I left a comment included here, beneath your article, about militant atheists' strange belief that they are superior to religious people, more rational and logical etc., when they are really just juvenile delinquent head kickers, as you have unfortunately discovered via Twitter and Facebook a hate group they have been called, by serious observers. Here is the comment left that could make part of a newspaper article followed by explanations of how militant atheists get that way. These may surprise you. Dear atheists, the truth is, if we think a bit, in the history of mankind, there has never been an atheist tribe or city state or nation that has outcompeted theist groups. Just think, have you ever seen, in National Geographic, the headline, Atheist Culture Excavated? Run through your knowledge of Greek city-states, South American states, like Incas and Aztecs etc., Vikings, Native Americans, Eskimos, Australian Aborigines, no atheist cultures there, at all, not a, can you even think of one, dear atheists? Archaeologists say, pre-humans for 250,000 years, Cro-Magnon people, believed in afterlife, there is no atheist culture in mankind's history. Even the atheist point man, Richard Dawkins, says in a BBC documentary, and elsewhere, that spiritual and religious practices, such as prayer and meditation, occur so universally, throughout our human history, that it's obviously genetically installed in us by evolution. The conclusion is our physical brain structures are made to do meditation and prayer, that means evolution doesn't want atheists. Laughing out loud if atheists were more rational, clearer thinking, and thus more productive, as they claim, Capitalism would have created an atheist city. In the U.S., atheists would flock there, and that city would be famous for outperforming theist cities economically, scientifically, socially, academically, artistically, and militarily. But guess what? That atheist superiority fantasy has never happened, and evolution installing religious practices into our DNA occurs also in militant atheists, of course. They think more about God than theists. So forgive them, when they open up their own churches, surrendering, to their natural religious impulses, it's completely natural, and intended by evolution, such natural behavior by atheists shouldn't be condemned. Why, Google is overflowing with atheist churches, laughing out loud, link provided below this video Miranda, another entry is required, to explain the connection between atheism and father deficiency, highly relevant to teenage jihadists, but here it is attached below. Father deficiency causes violence in juveniles. Study source link below Daily Mail. YouTube video highlighting this overlooked issue entitled, Pseudoskeptics, Militant Atheists, Are Father Deficient Angry Juveniles, Hard Science, Even in Monogamous Animals It's in this playlist. Next video. Again, father deficiency comes up in disadvantaged children, but it's accidentally discovered independently, completely off net. It's entitled, Suda Skeptics Surprise Queensland Discovery on How Skeptics, Tilda Militant Atheists, Are Produced, and Corrections Are Demonstrated, third, in this playlist. So Miranda, you now have some more ideas about what produces the social disaster called Militant Atheists, that has practically ruined the Internet. 
Notably they are 99% men, and all hide in a cowardly way behind net anonymity. So forever posing as scientists online demanding references and proof from others, they never provide it themselves, and they have no interest in facts, evidence or data. Their sole interest is head-picking anyone they can hold in conversation. The Parisian discovery, in your article Miranda, that 80% of jihadi families were atheistic, is certainly noteworthy. That's a modern-day phenomenon, that is a product of our excessively materialist culture sometimes called the scientific dictatorship. Yet it's unlikely that if young people were compelled to attend mosques, churches, synagogues, etc., that the jihadi problem would go away. Father deficiency is often associated with militant atheism, Marx, Mao, and a long list of notables fill this prescription. Links below the videos put that case forward. Father deficiency often hardens and proofs young people against religious instruction. It does it by constricting critical physical brain development and preventing cognitive development which can be tumultuous for some during development years, young men have the highest suicide rate. An outstanding feature of militant atheists slash pseudo-skeptics is their inability to discern an evidence dot pattern and produce an original opinion. Many can only mouth dogma slogans provided by someone else. Unable to produce their own opinions, they must be and can only be gullible, believing everything they are told. That feeds readily into being mentored over the net by ISL recruiters, who tell them what they want to hear. Laughingly, some returning jihadis complain they were lied to, with extravagant false promises by ISIS recruiters. Golly, can you believe that, dear readers? So gullible they didn't realize their buttons were simply being pushed by experts, and didn't realize most salesmen lie, even the jihadis, who are claimed to be academically good going to private schools etc. can still find the world a very confusing place, can get top marks in exams, because they have good memories, and still be unable to form a personal opinion. Recall that impulse control doesn't physically appear in some of our brains, till age 26, from brain scans, and understanding of politics doesn't occur till very late 20s in most people, plus teenagers, whose brains are only half formed at best and may be seriously underperforming due to the physical damage of father deficiency, have little hope of grasping international politics in any meaningful way, and thus can only be gullible and thus easily spoon-fed radical simplistic slogans. Observers have long noted religious fanatics, fundamentalists, are mirror image identical to militant atheists. Simplistic sloganizing is the trademark of both. There are many born, again atheists who preach theirs is the one true faith, Everyone else is irrational and deluded. So natural religious tendencies installed by evolution can cause people to flip between extremes and militant atheists that hound you so cruelly Miranda over the net can often be refugees from fundamentalist Christianity needing years or decades to decompress or angry gays who feel rejected by Christianity's Old Testament and make anonymous war upon its practitioners like your good Catholic self over the net. And a fundamentalist tendency in many angry young men is that no one can disagree with them. Nobody. They just can't handle disagreement because of their insufficient brain growth, gross immaturity. Father deficiency this is particularly noteworthy amongst online gamers. In their fury, they make hate videos slandering people for simply daring to disagree with them. Thus talking can go on for months. It's a mini jihad done from behind the safety of anonymity. In conclusion Miranda, can I suggest that, it's not a lack of regular church or mosque going, that derails these young people, it's more likely a widespread father deficiency propagated in our western culture, that trumps all institutional influences, by derailing brain growth, and produces angry under-functioning juveniles, who can sometimes fall victim to unscrupulous ISL recruiters, who can push their buttons over the net, and it's likely feminism, angry women making jihad against men, are simply father deficient too, as per that same scientific study. Thus it's not quite as simple as Islam, or ISL or atheism producing jihadis, it's more our western culture's immersion in a scientific dictatorship, and the great encouragement of single parenting, and the much missing fatherhood, is not advanced when feminists denigrating men wrongly insist they are only sperm donors etc. and could almost be dispensed with. Serious studies even in monogamous animals prove quite, quite, the opposite. Steve True Blue in Sydney.